Good morning, and I'd like to welcome members and those online to the Economy, Energy and Fair Work Committee's 18th meeting of 2020. This is the committee's sixth meeting conducted remotely, and before I begin, I'd like once again to thank the broadcast team on behalf of the committee for making this meeting possible. This morning we have three items on our agenda. And the first um, item, the first piece of business I need to do is to take a resolution to take items two and three of the agenda in private. Due to the nature of broadcasting and virtual meeting, I will take silence as agreement to this proposition. Thank you. Right, if I can turn us then to our first item on our agenda, and this is the UK government's corporate insolvency and governance bill. So we need to consider the consent legislative or LCM as we know them concerning this UK government's corporate insolvency and governance bill. The bill contains a range of proposals to support companies facing financial difficulties. Some of these changes will be permanent, while some are time limited in response to the current coronavirus crisis. The majority of these provisions in the bill relate to reserved matters. The regulation of companies is generally a reserve matter, as are various aspects of corporate insolvency. However, there are some little areas that are devolved, and several aspects of the bill do require the LCM process. But broadly speaking, the impact on devolved competence is fairly minor and it is very technical. I should say the committee has not heard of any concerns coming from insolvency stakeholders. Um, and therefore, we did conclude that we didn't need to take evidence from anyone this morning on this matter. However, before we move to actually make a decision on approving the LCM, um, I'd like to go to our deputy convener, um, Willie Coffey, who I think wishes to contribute to this discussion. Willie. Thanks very much, convener. It was simply to ask if the permanent provisions that are set out in the bill have filtered on by the UK government and, of course, in Scotland, uh, have they been consulted on? And after and if the bill is approved, will the Scottish government be responsible for maintaining, monitoring and reporting on the devolved aspects of the proposals contained in the bill? I wonder if the clerks could clarify that for us, please. Yeah, I mean, as, as far as I'm aware, I don't know whether any of our clerks can answer that question here, or whether we can take that um, for um, Roger. Yeah. Yes, yes, just Roger. Say, Roger yes, just to say affirmative to both of Willie's questions. Yes, the UK government has consulted, and as we understand it, the Scottish government uh, does intend to undertake um, a review of the, the second point. If that's helpful. Yeah. Thank you, Roger. Does that answer your question, Willie? Uh, I, Willie, your microphone's not on. Right. Willie, go ahead again. That's fine. Thanks very much for that clarification, Roger. That's very helpful. Thanks. Does anybody else wish to comment on the LCM or ask a question? No. Okay, so I'll take it that we're all happy and uh, that the committee is content with the LCM and with the Scottish Government's view um, that the Scottish Parliament should consent to the UK legislating in this area. Again, I'll take silence as agreement. Thank you. Then that is agreed. So can I ask, are the members content for myself and the clerks to prepare a short report outlining our decision today, covering the points that we've just, just discussed? Again, I'm taking silence as agreement. Thank you. Um, well, very short public meeting this morning because that actually does conclude the public part of our meeting. So as agreed, I'll now move us into private for the next two agenda items. Please join us in two minutes in the private um, chat room. Thank you. <laughs> 